Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can connect the GAN timer to CS timer and cube desk via Bluetooth. So the very first thing I'm going to talk about is actually timer specs and that's because the GAN Halo timer standard edition doesn't work with Bluetooth because there's no Bluetooth connectivity, meaning you cannot use this to connect the CS timer. The GAN Halo smart timer and the GAN smart timer, the old timer, however are able to work with Bluetooth. Next up is that your computer has to have Bluetooth connectivity in order for this to work. And the very final thing I have to talk about is the browser you use. I recommend using Chrome because Chrome is a really good browser that allows for Bluetooth connectivity as not all browsers will work with Bluetooth. Now let's go ahead in with the process of connecting the timer, the CS timer and cube desk. First things first, I'm gonna talk about making sure that your Bluetooth is turned on. Right here is, I'm, I'm on a Mac, and yeah, as you can see, my Bluetooth is on. On Windows, you have to go to a different area to check, but you can just Google how to make sure your Bluetooth is turned on for your devices. So, we're gonna start off by explaining the process of doing this in CS Timer, then I will move on to Cube Desk. What I'm actually gonna be doing is I'm gonna use the old GAN Smart Timer, connecting it to CS timer and then I'll connect the new GAN smart halo timer to cube desk. So what we're going to do first is to power on the timer and then we're going to go to options right here in CS timer. We're going to go here where it says entering times with right because you'll start you'll probably end up in global but you want to make sure you hit on timer and you'll want to change this to GAN timer and then you want to hit OK And you'll want to hit this, which is you want to click on the device and pair it. But before I do that, I want to show you one thing, which is I'm going to use my smart cube here. Okay, this is the GAN i3. And as you can see, because I used the GAN i3, I turned it and I turned it on. As you can see, it's also now a potential Bluetooth device that can be connected. So you want to be careful and make sure you connect to the actual GAN timer. Otherwise, you'll have to redo this process again because it thinks you're connected to another device. Or I mean, it connects to the wrong device. Now, what you can do is use the timer. And just a quick thing, which is in order to start inspection, if you have inspection mode on, you have to use the button in the middle. That's how you are able to start inspection with this timer. Okay, I plus two, but really who cares? Uh, we'll add the penalty. And then you'll want to reset yourself. And that's how you are able to use this timer. Now let's do this, but with Cube Desk. With Cube Desk, we're going to be using the newer GAN timer. We're going to turn it on. And on the top right, you'll see this thing next to here where it says keyboard. You'll want to change that to GAN smart timer. You want to hit on this connect to timer. Oops, my timer's not on. I didn't properly turn it on. And you'll want to pair it together. And yeah, it'll be paired. Uh, over here, you'll see this connected. And that means it's properly connected. Now we can do a solve with this. Uh, not the best solve and then yeah it works the same where you have to use the thing to inspect what I mean is you have to use the middle button right here to inspect so as you can see this process is very difficult I hope that this video helped you connect your GAN timer to your PC thank you so much for watching